Hi all, today we are going to discuss the vector differential operator or it is called as a differential vector operator or a del operator or nebula. So this differential vector operator or del or nebula in Cartesian coordinate systems is defined by it is just represented by the inverse triangle. So it is given by dou by dou x in the direction of ax and dou by dou y in the y direction and dou by dou z in the z direction. So you have to remember here this del is a vector operator but it is not a vector quantity. How the vector will be generated? The vector will be generated when you multiply this vector operator with some scalar quantity then a vector will be produced for that particular scalar quantity. So in a generalized way in the curvilinear coordinate system as we have discussed in our previous class. So curvilinear coordinate system I can represent this by because the different coordinates will be a1, a2 and a3 there and the differential differentiation we take is by s1, s2, x3. So that will be dou by dou s1 in the a1 dou by dou s2 in the direction of a2 and dou by dou s3 in the direction of a3. If you are not getting how this come and other things, I request you to please refer my previous lecture on curvy linear coordinate systems before checking this one. So, but we know that, but we know that the dsi, we have already seen there. So, this will be equal to hi into dui. So, I can define my gradient r 1 by h1 into dou by dou u1 in the direction of a1 plus 1 by h2 into dou by dou u2 in the direction of a2 and this will become 1 by h3 into dou by dou u3 in the direction of a3 because you know the value of h1, h2, h3 and you know the coordinates u1, u2, u3 just substitute that you will get for different values of the coordinates. So let us see what will be the values for different coordinate systems. For rectangular coordinate system we know h1, h2, h3 is equal to 1. So this becomes dou by dou x in the x direction plus dou by dou y in the y direction plus dou by dou z in the z direction. This is clear. So now coming to cylindrical coordinate system. Cylindrical coordinate system we know the h1 is equal to 1 h2 is equal to rho and h3 is equal to again 1. So, let us try to substitute here. So, this will become because the different components are rho, phi and z. These are the coordinates. So, this will become dou by dou rho in the direction of a rho plus 1 by h2 is rho 1, right? Rho. So, this will become 1 by rho into dou by dou phi in the direction of a phi and the third coordinate will be again 1. So, this will become dou by dou z in the direction of a z. So, this way we have to calculate this. Now, coming to the third coordinate or the spherical coordinate system, we have already seen in our pre previous class, the value of h1 is equal to 1, h2 is equal to r and h3 is equal to r sin theta and the different coordinates that means u1, u2, e3, r because here it is taken as r, theta and phi. These are the values. So, I am just substituting this thing. So, this will become dou by dou r in the direction of a r plus Second coordinate is r, so 1 by r into dou by dou theta in the direction of a theta plus 1 by r sin theta into dou by dou phi in the direction of a phi. So, in this way, I can get the del operator easily. So, same thing because is are remembering the curvy linear coordinate system advantages. We are going to see multiple operators in the next class. Even those also can be calculated in a easier way. So, depending on how you are applying on a particular value, whether you are applying on the scalar, you are applying on a vector and which manner you are applying. There are three possible vector multiplications. So, we can tell that corresponding three different vector multiplications three possible operations of this del operator are the first one is gradient of a scalar. Let us assume that scalar is f. So, gradient of a scalar is represented by simply you multiply the your gradient with that particular value of a scalar. Remember, this resultant will now become equal to a vector. So, similarly, the second one is divergence of a vector. So, let us assume that vector is given by a. So, this will be given by the del operator one dot will be kept here then followed by this one. The meaning of this is that result will be a scalar quantity. You have to do the dot product. Now, the third one, the curl of a vector. 
so let us assume that vector is a the curl is represented by curl of the vector so again remember here you are doing the curl so resultant will be a vector quantity so you will see each one of them what is the gradient what is divergence what is curl how to calculate them and what are those significance we are going to see in the next class i hope all these things are clear to you if you still have any queries you can leave your comments in the comment section below i will answer to your queries from there thank you thank you very much